In this question, we're told that a number n is rounded to two decimal places and that the result is 4.76. Now using inequalities, we need to write down the error interval for n. And an error interval tells us the range of numbers that we could have had before the number was rounded. And so let's represent this problem in a number line. We'll start with 4.76 in the center. And on either end, we'll have 4.77, and 4.75. And so in between this, we'll have 4.755 and 4.765. And so we need to find out the range of values that could have been rounded to give a result of 4.76. So looking at 4.755, if we round that to two decimal places, we'll get 4.76. But if we go any number less than that, let's say for example, 4.753, that will round down to 4.75. So let's take a look at the numbers in between 4.755 and 4.76. Let's say 4.757. If we round that to two decimal places, that will round up to 4.76. And so we can see that any number below 4.755 will not round to two decimal places to 4.76, but 4.755 will round to two decimal places to 4.76, and so will the numbers in between that and 4.76. So now let's look at 4.765. If we round 4.765 to two decimal places, we'll get 4.77, which isn't the same as 4.76. But let's take a look at the numbers in between. If we have 4.762, that will round down to 4.76. What about the really small numbers below 4.765? If we have 4.7649, that will still round to two decimal places to 4.76. And so we can see that the numbers below 4.765, but not including, will round to two decimal places to 4.76. And so we can represent this using an inequality. We've found that any number between 4.755 and 4.765 can round to two decimal places to 4.76. But this is including 4.755 and not including 4.765. So let's write this down as our answer. We'll say 4.755 is less than or equal to n, and n is less than 4.765. So what we're saying here is that n is more than or equal to 4.755, but is less than 4.765. This question is worth two marks. So let's take a look at where we'll get these two marks. The first mark is for including 4.755 as the lower bound and making sure we have that including sign which is the line underneath the less than. So that's our first mark. The second mark will be for identifying the upper bound as 4.765 but this is not including 4.765 and so we just have a less than sign without the line underneath. 